Right, well, he's joining me fishing again. I've not caught anything. I've just done 48 hours and it's been an absolute nightmare to be honest. Firstly, I put the bait out like we all do, put the bivvy up, same as usual, and then we have a hatch. The bloodworm decided to come up and be free for about the four hours that they live or something like that. So it completely destroyed the fishing. No fish came out from Thursday, it's now Sunday evening. To top it all off, the area that was baiting, somebody came in on, I don't know, it's about 20 acres this, and we've all done this, at 20 acres, and they decided to go right next door to me, and I was fishing, grantedly, to the left. And where do you think they went? Right where I've been baiting for two days. Within 10 minutes, fish. Within half an hour, another fish. My own fault, can't blame anybody else. So, where am I fishing? This is where I am. Stunning lake, isn't it? It's just raining slightly now. And where the coots are out there, again, is where I'm fishing. I don't know if you can see this, but where I'm fishing is, is just there, in between the two islands. Before, I was fishing a little bit to the left. <sighs> Just when fish started showing, guy turns up, puts the rods out. You just can't make it up, can you? On another note... Sorry, I'm just watching Flynn. He's trying to be stealthy. Can you see him? What's that for, Flynn? Is that for the ducks? Yeah. <laughs> Such a soft touch, aren't you? <laughs> I've told him not to feed the ducks Pringles. He can't help himself. So, what we've done now, we've brought the rods in about uh, 40 yards, 41 yards out. Put some spod particles out. Um, some other bits and pieces, that's what we've been doing. Let's see if we can catch some of it. Now later on tonight I'm going to show you the, uh, the rhino light. Oh, I forgot to mention that. All the filming I've been doing, all this kind of thing that we do now, it's been great and I've enjoyed it, but when I've had some fish shots at night, most of the fish I catch is at night time for some strange and apparent reason. Um, I have problems with the lighting and it's clearly evident because I got a little email from Rhino Lighting saying, would you like to try these lights? I'm not paid by Rhino to say this, so I'm going to give them a go and see what they're like. And it's to do, it's, it's to do with the, the whole light issue regarding video. For a camera, normal lights can be fine and the flash picks it up and you get a good photograph, but on video I tend to struggle with that. So over the next three or four months I'm going to be using one of these lights to see whether it makes a difference or not. And you'll see in the videos. So what I'm going to do later on is I'm going to do the uh, before and after kind of things. I don't know whether I'm going to get a fish or not, I'd like to, but I've done 48 hours and I've been blanking my absolute ass off. Um, and now it looks perfect, it looks great. There's a lake behind me as well, which is a syndicate. Uh, see if we can catch some of it, so what we're going to do next is have a look at the light at night time. Flynn's decided he's going to do some uh, chops. Bless him just nipped to the toilet now so when he gets back he wants to try and get some tents he's had enough of the cart for two days now he wants to put a load of chopped baits into the into the margin and uh, catch some tench that's what he's going to be using there put that in there for you to see black currant licorice these are pastel barrel wafters that's what he's going to be using bless him what rig got one set up already I think you can see that it's only an air rig well no it's actually 
it's on a, a rig ring, a gripper, inline lead and tubing. That's what our Flynn's going to be using and one of those pastel doobries, one of them there over some chop baits. You know what, I'm not going to chop them because he absolutely really loves doing these chop things. Bless him. He's starting to get really into it now. He still says he doesn't want to go fishing, but when he's here now, he loves it. He absolutely loves it. Can be a bit annoying when they kind of do silly noises all night long. I suppose I do when I'm snoring. Some bait up. Yeah! Go on then, off you go. Wait, till, put the top down, that's it. But it doesn't fall out. No, 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 it does. Put the top down. Just please, be safety. Okay. Fingers. We're we gonna put this in the side for the tench. Yeah. Okay. Have you had enough of the carp now? You wanna catch your tench, do you? Yeah. You enjoy that, don't you? <laughs> is it all gone well done should we get this in the side now yeah. take the lid off it yeah okay do that i'll do it it's all right i'll do it now Tiny dancers of the evening. This is the hatch we were talking about before, it's come up again tonight. Kind of cool watching them just dance around in the sky. Fascinating, somewhat. I also like it when you see swallows, I think it's swallows around Norfolk dancing around a bit large. I was nearly going to say shoals. What do you call a group of birds? It's not shoals, is it? Flock, that's it. Can't think for a minute. There they go. It's nature, it's spring, it's May. Can't help that. It is where it is. Okay, it's night time. Now this is the light that we get from a normal torch, an LED type thing. Now, it's okay for using one of these SLRs for doing photographs or that kind of thing because the light's kind of adequate for the sensor to work, but it's not bright enough, okay? As you can see now, you can see me, you will have a fishing shot, if I've caught a fish, which I haven't yet, you will see this over the coming months. So, this is what Rhino said it's not adequate enough for to do. What we're going to do now is see whether there's any difference between now to this. A marked improvement you've got to sell. You've, you can't say there's not an improvement, just look at it. This is exactly what I need. Again, not paid for this, they just sent it me in the post and it was a bit of a surprise, to be perfectly honest. After the email, I must add. Thanks Rhino, I'm happy with that one. Now, a review on something like this is no good like this. Just one little clip of me going from a poor lighting to light better lighting. The proof is in the pudding, so over the next three or four months when doing my vlogs, you'll see fish at night time using this light and it'll be evident that it's a lot better. And you'll know where it is because it'll be the shot. It'll be the YouTube thing that I'm doing. There you go. First fish from this water. It's a beauty, isn't it? You've got to admit, that's a nice fish. Should have a look at the other side of it. There we go. Bit of a pig, that one, isn't it? Nice fish. 
Right, so we're going to take some photographs. Right, I promised to show you the light from last night. And this is the light. Comes amber on one side for the street lighting. And that side for the clear screen. They're all interchangeable and they come like that. This is what I'm gonna be using for the next three months. Did we get to use it last night, Flynn, for a fish? We didn't, did we? No. No, you all that. What else have we got? I've also had sent me some uh, wafters from Mainline Baits. I've used Mainline for quite a while now, on and off. I have tried other companies and I've come back to Mainline because it's consistent, it's always consistent. It's always the same. Now what are these are, are wafters. Now what I like about these are, they do what they say they're meant to do. I want a wafter that the hook stays on the bottom of the lake but the bait just pops up with a hook on the bottom that's a wafter or just lies gently on the bottom wafting about that's why they call, call wafters they're not called pop-ups because they're pop-ups they're they pop up they're what meant to do and stay popped up so what have we got Flynn we've got five of these are you all them we've got five of them in total, got black currant licorice, mulberry juice, fruity squid. I like them. They're the pink ones. I love pink. Are they pink? Yeah. No. no. Are they pink? What colour would you call them? Pink. Cranberry orange and pepper peach. Which is your favourite one? I don't smell them, okay. That one smells lovely. Does it? Yeah. That's pepper peach. Should we see another one? What's on this one? Smell that one? Hmm. What's that one? Cranberry? Yeah. So, you've got two that you've tried there, Flynn. Should we try another one? Fruity squid. Yeah. Don't like that one. Fish might like that one, but you don't. What about this one? Fruit orientated again, isn't it? This is mulberry. Mm. So that's that one. You like that one? Also, black currant. No, you like black currant. Yeah. Which one would you use out of them? Which is Flynn's favourite? Uh, Mine, mine's a pink one. Mine's this one. Yours that one. So your favourite one is. Pepper peach, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Actually, all of them. You like all of them? Yeah. So which one are we going to use when we go out all the except time? The op it's exactly, except the octopus one. Squid? Yeah. You don't like the squid one. Also, we've got the pop-ups as well. Three sets of pop-ups that are new out, apparently. Um, chocolate orange fizz. What does that smell like? Mmm. You like that one? Yeah. Okay. They come in 15 mil and does it 10 mil? Should we check? 15 mil, 12 mil. I apologise. 15 mil and 12 mil. What else have we got? Now this is what I caught a fish on before. You've seen the fish. Shellfish black pepper. I like that one. It's my favourite. I like that one a lot. Again, you can see that there. Again, same thing again, 12 mil, 15 mil. What's and next? You have to make a bait smelling challenge where I have to smell bait. Well, you could do a bait smelling challenge. In fact, we could do that later on, couldn't we? With different other companies if they send anything in, you know, just to, as a comparison. Oh, I like that one. Almond. Oh, me too. Right, so out of the pop ups, Flynn, again, 12 mil and 15 mil. It's only three of them. That's all that it can send me. That smells like, um, like. Probably vanilla and chocolate. Van vanilla and chocolate, you mean? Yeah, that one smells like vanilla. So, out of the three, like yeah, but out of the three, which would you use, Flynn? That one and that one and that one. 
Which one do you use? That one? Yeah. Why? Because it smells like we're made on chocolate. That's toasted almond. So you like the to toasted almond, that's what you like. Okay. Cool. I've also sent some pellet. They're not pellet, particles. Okay. So what's in this one? This was wheat, buckwheat, red maize, yellow maize, and just other supplements that are needed, like attractors, that kind of thing. These are fish safe, by the way, apparently. Also, I've got the cell one. Now, bear in mind, I've been fishing some pellet, two containers of the cell and that, and in this one here, this one's got uh, buckwheat, wheat, hemp, red tear, white tear, um, millet seed, water, salt, usual things, ingredients. Again, this is not suitable for human consumption, but please don't make a curry out of this. When you're hungry and you need something to eat, it's not for human consumption, it's for fish, but it's safe for fish. There's a few others which I'll show you in another video when I go out fishing next. And what's on this one? This is uh, essential cell again. This is just your basic uh, hemp seed. Now, hemp seed is brilliant. I love hemp seed. And they're sealed before you get to use them as well. Which is perfect, really. It's perfect for me. Because uh, mum won't let us uh, boil hemp, will she? Yeah. We had an accident at Christmas, didn't we? We boiled, boiled some hemp and burnt the pan. Do you remember? Yeah. And Christmas stunk for three days, didn't it? Merry Christmas and all that. So that's what we've been sent so far. So the light, pop-ups, and we caught fish on it. A fish, might get more yet. Right, should we start packing away and go home? No. Oh, you want to stay? Yeah. So which pop-up are you going to put on now to cast? Uh, this. Toasted almond. Fishing is fun. It's interesting, isn't it? You enjoy it now, don't you? Yeah. And Flynn's casting has come on in leaps and bounds, hasn't it, Flynn? Yeah. Cool.